Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As I mentioned in part one, uh, today in part two, we're going to put all these three programmers to the uh, task. We're going to use them on this uh, MC9S12XET512 uh, chip MCU. It is in a rear BCM body control module on a 15 Porsche Cayenne. So uh, first, we have our XP400 connected via USB cable to the uh, IM608. You go to Programmer, Accept, Read, and Accept. We're going to EPROM MCU, Chip Read Write. And then MCU, Freescale, uh, we said this is MC9S12XX, we have secured and unsecured, we're gonna try to read it both ways, and it is MC9SXET512. So nine X E T X D X E A X E G A P X Q S X E T five twelve secured right here. This is our chip, and we're going to start with the D flash and connection program. Okay, so we have one forty four. This is a one forty four. There's three kinds one forty four and one twelve eighty, and uh, ours is the one forty four. So this should be our diagram to follow on this MCU. Now, one little note, when you see these uh, circles, you see how this is the smallest and then it gets bigger. Well, this is one a sign for number one. And also this corner right here is angled. Unlike this one is rounded, all three rounded, except this one is Missing a little piece, so this one, this pin is number one, which is here. I think I should have a good connection, so in total, I need three probes. I have four of these uh, PCB, uh, PC Byte uh, probes, so I'm using them. In addition to three soldering uh, points, I was able to use continuity with the multimeter to check, like, for example, this pin 25. Uh, I was able to put one here, and then I found this spot. So I put a little solder on it, and I uh, soldered the wire. Now each one, you're going to have to read these in red, TR, ground. And then you're going to match them to this portion of the programmer right here. So let's go back, see if we can make a read. Let's do read. Chip locked. That's what I was getting last time. Let's do the E. Read and I, if I'm not mistaken, I was able to read the the P flash chip locked. Also, let's try the the P flash. Now, if this says chip locked or error, I think.
think we might have a bad connection. Yeah. Uh, let me let me double check my my uh, contacts and bring you guys back. Well, I triple checked everything, all my pins. I think they're making contact, and I still get uh, locked. I double checked the uh, the wiring according to the diagram, and it was good. So uh, at this moment, I don't know if it's a tool capability or um, my uh, my probes are not making a good contact but let's go I thought I was able to read the uh, p-flash last time I don't know um, let's go uh, now we tried the secured let's try oh guess what we don't have unsecured I thought we did we have 512 secured only okay so, no, we, we should, sorry, my bad. Uh, unsecured here, we have to go back one step, and then, uh, what was it, XET, I believe. X, F, X, E, S, X, E, T, 512, unsecured, I think this is our chip. X, E, T, 512, yes. Okay, go D flash. Let's try with the P flash first. But we have to check the diagram. I think the diagram is going to be different. Okay, um, here it says 1, 2, 3, 1 is 80, 2, 1, 12, 3, 1, 44. So ours is 3. Yeah, it is different. So we're going to um, repin it based on this one two three four five six so 58 i have those already i have this so 27 is not here and let me double check those um pins all right so the only difference was switching that five volt to vpp2 here and um remove 27 that's the only difference. Let's go back, see if we can read. Um, read. Chip is not connected or chip is locked. Um, A flash. Read. I think what it says not connected that's um, a pin connection issue. Yep. So this time I am getting chip locked only. Read. Okay, chip locked. So we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to remove, let's say, a power or ground uh, right here. The blue one is a ground, which I think it's 56. Let's try to read it, see what it says. This is just for our reference. See when it, we intentionally... Okay, chip is not connected or chip is locked. Okay, so, so now when we know that when we have everything is connected good we have chip locked that means we have a good connections that's our clue see now it's gonna say chip locked yep so now we know that the xp400 was not able to read it now i will tell you guys why in a minute when we compare diagrams of other programmers because the other day when I installed it I, I was curious to to see if the pin out the same the diagram the same and it turned out to be it's not the same so that could be the reason why or it could be the tool itself who knows I mean at least if we get a good read using another programmer that means um, whatever it is whether the diagram or the tool itself then um, 
it's not uh, doing making a read a good read. Now it would be really interesting to use the others diagram and this tool to see if it's going to read or not. But I don't want to make this video five hours. It's already going to be long, but uh, I think it's going to be interesting to know uh, hands on right here, like comparison live on a module that I'm working on. Now we're switching to the CG Pro and uh, once we launch the software, by the way, if you see this license, uh, expires in 30 days now it says 22 days uh, don't worry about it once uh, this becomes zero and then you start the uh, you launch the application again and will reset to 30 as as far as I know um, now we can go by uh, model or chip we go to chip um, let me get you guys here um, We're gonna choose our Motorola 9S12 and then we go to the model, we go down to X, 12X, DXE, XE, T, where is the GHP, XE, T, 512. This is our chip. Now we click diagram and this is what we have adapter db25 and here we have xe144 so this is what i was talking about earlier full screen uh you see how the vcc and the ground they are using pin 139 138 139 a pin 25 ground earlier it was not ground this yellow one it was uh, tr t slash r and the rest 48 is the same 54 i believe is the same 57 what did we have and actually we didn't have 57 we didn't have 57 we had 56 which is which i think the same by the way 56 and 57 I did continuity and I think both of them uh, are contacted and we had ground yes it's ground 58 CLK 58 is the red one it's not CLK so there is big difference between this one and the other one let's we're gonna need one two three four five six seven seven again um, we have 25 soldered, we have 48 soldered, we have 58 soldered, so that's good for us. Uh, we're going to have to reposition the other ones, the three, and use the fourth one here. This is how it looks like after rearranging everything and using this adapter. And we're about to do a read. The chip is encrypted. Please operate after decrypting. Okay, so we're gonna go to decrypt. I bring you guys probably here better. This is this is the strength of this tool probably, the uh, CG Pro. As of lights, we have blue, red, and green. Of course, we have our power and USB. Decryption timeout. Interesting. Okay, let's do it again. Hmm, interesting. Let's do a read, see what happened. Same thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop record 
make sure my contacts are good and uh, redo it again, see if I get a good read. So it's been two days since our failed attempt. Um, I did a lot of research and I found this is their main website. So I went to contact us. I found two numbers that they have listed to contact them. And uh, I created this uh, WhatsApp uh, group, me and the two numbers that I found. And uh, I explained to them, hey, I, I purchased this your tool from this website. Um, in, in the United States, I tried to read MCU and it says decryption timeout. I tried uh, to do device initialization because that's, as I said, that's one of the uh, things that was suggested uh, online, but it didn't do any difference. And I, I included screenshots of the, uh, the error. Now, this is the MCU I'm trying to read and this is how it covered. So they said your chip ID mask is 3M25J, CG Pro is 2M25J, and I said when trying to read it, it shows both of them. Uh, ID mask not same, you cannot read that. So I showed them another screenshot that it showed, it shows actually both of them, 2M25J and 3M25J when trying to read them. And uh, when I attempt to read, it shows, you know, this one. That's not enough. Nobody answer. Then I showed them what we are going to use tonight, which is uh, the VVDI prog. And it shows here mask. You know, this is for the uh, the MCU. I, I I navigate it. We'll do it in in a minute. But I navigate it. To that MCU, and it shows that mask 2M25J, 3M25J, and as you see, both of them have the same ID C4A2. So I I send that one, and it says this is another programmer that shows chip ID C4A2 is the same for both masks. Uh, I am making a YouTube video about the tool now. I wanted to be fair with with the company, with them. I wanted to tell them, like, hey, I'm I'm trying to make a, a video, which I am right now, making a video on the tool and putting it to the public. So I'm 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 asking you for help, like, you know, just to write that ID mask is not supported. Like you just then when I when I send this one, I I just need an explanation why here it's showing and. Here is, is the same chip, chip ID for A2. So they didn't respond to me. And I said, I wanted, again, I wanted to be fair with them. I, I didn't want to, like, I didn't want it to, to be seem like I'm stabbing them in the back by not telling them, hey, I'm making a video. No, I wanted to make sure that I tell them, hey, I'm making a video about it. So I wish that I can get the support that I need to, to make it look better because... To be honest with you, if we're going to use VVDI Prague, and I, I although it 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 shows both of them, I'm gonna go both both choices. I'm gonna pick up the three five uh, sorry three M two five J, which is ours, and I'm also gonna pick up the two M two five J, just to see if whether it's gonna give us the same encryption timeout uh, error or not. And if it does, I mean, it, they're clearly correct about their comment if it doesn't however if it doesn't if vvdi prog is able to read it with a different mask uh, which i think it will i'm not sure i'm not an expert on, on those tools i'm i'm still learning um if it will read it by picking up 2m25j then that's gonna look bad for the cg pro so let's jump to the uh, bench set up for VVDI Prague. 